Hi guys, it's Kelly and I thought I would do a Wednesday walkthrough since I have changed a few things. So um, since my last video, you'll see my binder has changed. So Professor Plum is taking a break and this is a Recollections binder from Michaels. Um, I had gotten it a while back with a 50% off coupon so I think it ended up costing me right around $10. Um, so far I really like it. It was stiff. I did have to kind of train it to get it to lay flat but it's starting to wear in pretty well so I'm excited about that. Um, so biggest thing why I changed planners is because I had bought a Recollections undated yearly insert to use. Um, I knew that the ring, I checked the ring um, punch orientation and it was perfect spacing for the Filofax or for the Kate Spade. What I did not check was the width of the page. So if you look, these are the new Recollections inserts I have. These are my original Filofax um, inserts. So you can see there's maybe a quarter, maybe a little more than a quarter inch difference. That is just enough that my Kate Spade won't zip around it. And in the Filofax that has the button closure, um, it does bump into the pin loop, so it would make the pin loop totally non-functional. And you know, that just kind of bugged me. So um, lesson learned, check the width of the pages, not just the punch orientation. But for now, I did. I was able to get this little guy, um, which I really like. Yellow is my favorite color, so here we go. Let's see um, what I've got set up. So they do have a ton of pockets. Of course, I have loaded it down. Um, they do have a ton of pockets, which I like. I have a separate traveler's notebook that I use as a wallet, so I don't really need these card slots for cards. So I just have, you know, little sticker sheets in here. Um, I do keep my, my planning pretty functional, but I do like the pretty. So I will use these little stickers and such um, when the space allows. So that's what I have there. It's just stickers and fun stuff. Here is my new dashboard that I made. Um, December, I do, I do have some Christmas themed things, but December is also my anniversary month. So I went ahead and made this new dashboard um, with me and my husband. And this is actually just a pocket from my file, file effects. So I just cut scrapbook paper and put in there and that way it's really easy to change out. I had posted pictures of that last week. Um, for this first divider, I did make it a sticky note dashboard. So I do tend to use sticky notes, especially if something's up in the air. Um, and I don't want to put it down and pin first. So I have just a few of these different kinds of sticky notes on here. And they're sticking really well, so that makes me happy. Um, so the first tab is for my calendar. I always have my calendar up front. Um, these are my DIY Fish yearly inserts um, for 2018, so I can do some forward planning. So I've been working on that. These are from the last few months um, in December. And I have changed my setup here a little bit, so... I will do that maybe on Sunday. I'll show you what I'm using right now. Um, I went ahead and I put the first six months of 2018 in here. So it's um, got the monthly overview and then there's the weekly pages. Um, so I can't fit the entire year. If this binder is empty and this is the only thing in there, I can fit the year. But since I do like to have other sections, um, I went ahead, I just put six months in there. That It's pretty stuffed, but that's working. And then I have that yearly fold out. So if any, if I need to plan anything um, past June, I can just put it on that yearly fold out. So that's working pretty well. Um, this is my little note card divider. Hey, look, that's us. So this is my reminder. If um, you know I wanna post to the group or if I'm wondering what our theme is for the day, I just keep this little card in there. So that's fun. Um, goals and projects. So these are just some reminders that I have in here. Um, goals and projects section. So I do keep a section. This is actually um, the birthday manifesto from Start Planner. I don't think I've ever shown this, but it's pretty fun. They will send out, if, if you're on their newsletter list, they will send out um, this printable on your birthday each year. Um, and all I did was I printed it at I think 80% scale. And um, that was like the perfect size. Okay, I'll do that later. That was the perfect size to go in here. So, you know, it, it just has a checklist of fun things to do. And then you can write um, your goals for the next year. So that's kind of fun. And then I have these goal sheets. Um, I tend to use these and then toss them when I'm done. So you can see right now I have some, pro I haven't set up my projects yet for 2018, but I do have these ideas written down. So I have home, family, yarn. I'm a knitter, so I do track some of those types of projects. 
Adventures is the tab that I'm using um, to, for travel, basically. So either fun things, so family outings, or for travel. I have a section for my Girl Scout troop, um, and that way, you know, I can jot down ideas for meetings or crafts or whatever we're working on. Um, this is a leadership retreat I'll be doing, so I have my notes there for that. And then I have a notes section. That's just kind of my catch-all. So anything that doesn't fit into another section, I can just stick in my notes section. Um, and then I do have one last divider, but it's not. I'm just using it as a dashboard in the back um, so that when I close the binder, I don't bend the pages. It kind of catches that. Um, so that's what I'm using. These are laminated. Um, this is actually just double-sided cardstock that I cut down. The tabs are little tape plastic um, tape flags from Dollar Tree. And so what I did was I doubled them. So I put one on one side and then I matched it on the other side. And then I laminated it, cut it out. So it does have a little bit of a bump, but that doesn't bug me. Um, but then I used a Sharpie to write the tab section names on there. So for anyone who doesn't know, if you use Sharpie permanent markers, rubbing alcohol will wipe them right off. So that way, um, you know, I'm not committed to this label. I can change it out. So um, that's a handy little trick to know. And from, in my experience, how long it's been written on there doesn't really matter. You should be able to wipe it off. So that is my setup for now. The back pocket, um, again, I'm just using, I have some uh, little tab stickers there. And then again, just some, some tracking stickers up here. So that is my setup for now that I just set up a few weeks ago. Um, I plan to use this binder through 2018 so I can accommodate those inserts that I have. I have changed my weekly setup a little bit in my planning, so um, I'm hoping on Sunday, I, I've been testing it out for, for a few days now, so I'm hoping on Sunday um, I'll have that locked down a little bit better and I can do a Sunday setup for you. So that's it. Thanks. Have a great Wednesday, everyone.